welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen today i have a little review for you for the asus republic of gamers strix fusion wireless gaming headset for pc and playstation 4 and as just a little disclaimer they did send me the headset for free for review and use with that said i don't really have a headset to compare it to i've never used wireless headsets before i've only had wired budget headsets at about 40 pounds maximum and this headset retails for about 156 pounds as of the editing of this video. So it's quite a jump up from what I'm used to with a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection with a dual antenna design for stable and low latency audio transmission and 15 plus hour battery life and a 20 meter range for coverage. I've walked all around my house with this headset on listening to music downstairs, even out in the garden, and I've not had an issue so far. I have had the use of it for a couple of weeks now, quite a while, just to get a feel for what it would need for charging. I could probably count the amount of times I've actually had to have it charged on one hand, and it has a long cable. Uh, we're going to look at that in the unboxing, test the microphone compared to my AT2020 I'm using now, as well as talk about surround sound, which this is advertised to not have. This is also the first product I've reviewed in quite a while, a couple of years in fact. But hopefully, if I do good on this one and get back into it, more products will come my way, and I can get you some good ideas to improve your game. Now let's get into this box, shall we? Upon opening the box, it's nice and tidily put away in there with a nice foam packaging to keep the backside of your headset protected. We have the small USB dongle there to transfer that 2.4 GHz wireless signal and nicely hides away on your PC's case. But of course, you've all come here for the headset itself, so let's pull that bad boy out. And it's got a nice hard premium plastic feel to it. It's got quite a weight to it as well. It does come with two pairs of ear pads. It comes as standard with the leather pads. I don't like leather pads because they make me sweat. So I put the fabric pads on and they are perfect. Super soft and comfy. The headrest there is really soft. Now, after a couple of weeks, as I said, I have not had any head pains, which some headsets can do, especially the budget ones. No head pains whatsoever on the top of my head. Asus refer to this as Republic of Gamers hybrid ear cushions with upgraded comfort and sound insulation. Asus also mentioned it has 50mm Asus Essence drivers and exclusive airtight chamber technology that lets you hear every detail in the game. And I can quite easily say, yes, it's very crisp audio. I can hear everything. Now, we're going to go on to the surround sound here just quickly. I can have surround sound on this headset. All I had to do was right click on my speaker icon at the bottom right of Windows, enable Windows Sonic for headphones. And when entering games, I played some Battlefield 5 and I could hear exactly where players were. And this was in all games I tested, but I'll put some footage of Battlefield 5 here, just me wrecking people, because I knew exactly where they were through their footsteps and gunfire. You will find the nicely hidden away power button and the micro USB charging port on the left hand side ear pad. To turn the headset on, you hold the power button for up to three seconds. It will beep in your ear and turn a nice blue light on to let you know it's powered on visually. The remainder of the box contains your micro USB charge cable, which is plenty long enough to plug in while you're playing using the headset. I've had to do this once when the headset died on me during gameplay, and it offers you plenty of slack to play while charging. So there are no issues. If you do go flat mid-game, just plug the wire in and carry on. And lastly, in a nice little black box in the bottom, you have your user manual and your warranty information. Of course, I have had use of this headset for a couple of weeks now, so the wire would have been a lot more tidy wrapped up in the bottom of the box, and you may find a few speckles of dust on the headset itself in this footage. One very interesting feature of the Fusion Wireless is an intuitive touch control on the left headphone. Easily adjust the volume and other commonly used settings on the intuitive touch plate. You can skip tracks, previous next, volume control, as well as pause and play. I use this a lot during streaming. I can just tap my headset to pause. Of course, I've got the keyboard there, but it gives me another option if I walk away, forget to do something, I can just tap my headset to control my PC wirelessly, or my media at least. It works great, and it is extremely responsive. And now let's get on to the microphone. The ROG Strix Fusion Wireless comes with a boom microphone that is retractable and fully adjustable, providing clear in-game voice communication. Folding up the microphone will also mute it automatically, without the need to change settings manually. As you know, I don't use headset microphones. I have the AT2020 Studio microphone in front of me, but I'll give you a little taster of the microphone quality right now. This is a microphone audio test for the Asus Republic of Gamers Fusion wireless headset for PC and PlayStation 4, featuring a 2.4 GHz dual antenna wireless receiver. Uh, that's not the best microphone headset quality I've ever heard, that's for sure. There's always something in there. You think you got a great headset, you try the microphone, and it takes a huge dump in your mouth. 
I did check the audio settings for the microphone in Windows and there was no enhancements on. It seems like there is a bit of a noise gate. Doesn't really do much while you're talking, but hey, it works. All in all, for my first expensive headset, or what I would consider expensive at 156 around their pounds as of the making of this video, I am extremely impressed with this headset. The audio quality is sharp, it's clean, it's got some nice bass. The quality of the build of the headset is strong. When it first came out of the box, it was pretty tight. I was a little bit worried because I have a large head. I'll admit it, I've got a big head, okay? And I was a bit worried that it wouldn't go as big as my head. I am on the maximum setting. It has loosened up a little bit with a few weeks of use, but it's perfectly fine. It's comfortable. The adjustment slider is metal with a nice etched design inside. It all looks the part. It sounds the part through the ear cups. It's just that microphone. It's pretty poor quality for a lot of people for that price of headphone. Now, there could be something I'm missing, but I don't think there is regarding the microphone. If we're looking at it as just a headset, I would highly recommend. The Republic of Gamers Strix Fusion Wireless headset has upped my game tremendously. I don't feel tied to my PC via a wire unless you obviously run out of charge. I can freely move around. The driver technology inside the cups seem to be of extremely high quality. I've not had any audio crackling, no breakups or anything in loud noises like gunfire. My positional awareness of other players and objects is extremely good. It's far better than it was in my previous 7.1 budget wired headset. I would say £156 is a fair price. I wouldn't go much higher than that, and that's only because of the microphone. If they could increase the microphone's quality, its sound, reduce that background noise a bit more, bring your voice forwards a bit more, wants a bit more bass in your voice, but it's just that microphone knocking it down. Build quality, everything else is excellent for the price. Plus, you can use it on your PS4. I guess that'll be it for this product review for the Asus Republic of Gamers Strix Fusion wireless headset. We've gone over build quality, audio quality, microphone quality, of course, contents of the box, pricing, my thoughts on pricing, as well as a lot of the headset's features. Let me know if I forgot anything else out. I hope you enjoyed my first video review of a product in a while. I'll leave links in the description to where you can purchase this headset for yourself if you're interested, and I'll see you peeps next time. So, is there anything else you'd like me to review on my channel? Maybe something else from Republic of Gamers? Don't forget to subscribe and check out my last video.